I'm Steve from This Up With Cars, and this is my third video where I am working through cold starting all of the cars in my collection. I've already done all these cars that you see behind me, and it's time to move on to the final group of cars. The beginning of this row starts with another one of my Austin Cooper S's. Next is my MGTD. Next is my Porsche 356C. Next is the Sunbeam that I've owned the longest. This is one of my Series 5 Sunbeam Alpines. This car does have an ultra capacitor instead of a battery, but since it has no modern radio or electronics, I do not have to keep it on a tender. Next is my Ford Anglia. Next is my Sunbeam Alpine with Borg Warner automatic transmission. This is my Marcos 3 liter GT.
Next to the Marcos is my AC Asica Bristol. I forgot to connect the battery. Next is my Sunbeam Harrington Lama. Next is my Marcos 1500 GT. And last in this row is my Austin Mini Countryman. This one also has an ultra capacitor and doesn't seem to ever need to be plugged into a battery tender. Next is my Series 3 Land Rover, which from this angle looks a little buried, but I can actually get this out in about five minutes. Next is my Toyota FJ40 Land Cruiser. Next is my Pinsgauer 710. Next is a 1952 Chevrolet pickup truck.
Next is a 1986 Chevrolet pickup truck. Next is my faithful N.A. Miata. Next is my Stewart and Stevenson LMTV. Next is my 1955 International Harvester pickup. Next is the 1954 International Harvester Metro Van. Well, I installed an electric fuel pump on this truck and it doesn't sound very good. It was making a weird sound at first and now it's not running at all. So I think this isn't going to drive anymore. And the last, but obviously not the least, my Caterpillar D4 Traxcavator. Letting the glow plugs warm up now. It'll probably take a full 60 seconds to warm them up. <laughs> 